What's up, YouTube? Okay, so I want to do a tutorial on how to install vehicles, like police vehicles. I want to show you the files that actually go in. So, first of all, if you're new to this, first thing you need to do is go and download OpenIV. So, what you do is you go over here to to GTA 5 mods which I got it up here you're gonna go to this site you're gonna go to tools once you go to tools you're gonna go to the latest and just hit highest rated it's gonna come up with this you could use you could always use this I don't you really use that but you go over here and you download this once you download this what you're going to do is install it. You're going to install it. It shows you everything. It shows you this. Kind of go from this. Kind of go from there. Once you got it installed, it's going to look like this. Okay. So it's going to load up. Okay, once it loads up, it's not going to have this mods folder. So what you're going to have to do is actually, once it gets set up, it's going to have you locate your game wherever your game's installed at. So what you want to do is, like you said, like I said, if you're new to this and you haven't gotten this far yet, you're wanting to install cars but you're not sure how to do that yet, you gotta have this, you gotta have a mods folder. So once you do that, so once you go here, what you need to do next is hit tools, go to ASI manager. If these are all purple, you need to install them. So you install each right here. Once you click on this one, it's going to ask you, it's going to prompt you and ask you, do you want to install a mods folder? You're going to hit yes, and then it's going to install a mods folder. You're going to hit yes for this, you're going to close out. Then you're going to actually close this out, reopen it. Once you reopen it, then you're going to go to GTA 5 for Windows again. Okay. That's if you got LSPDFR already downloaded. So once you do this, then you go over here to this and see I right clicked. It says open file location correct. So the files that you need to install cars are going to be this file right here. This is your audio file. I would install that. Make sure you have proper disk space for this because it's going to require you to copy into mods folder. These two files alone right here are 15.2 gigabytes that you're going to be copying into the mods folder. After you do that, you're going to also hit x64e and copy and paste that because this file right here is the main car file. These are for the, the DLC packs and stuff. So there's a few main cars for the police cars in here. But once you get everything installed, you see what I have. This is all my backups right here. And this is where I install the police cars, the files, the guns, or whatever. If I want guns, which I don't have many installed yet. Sounds for cars and stuff like that. So once you once you got that done, uh, see what files I want to. Here's your cars and I'm gonna what you wanna if you wanna change out, what you can change out is 
you can you can go up here and search if you want what you want to change out FBI police um, you can do that but you could also FBI 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 okay I'm just gonna show you FBI police police four are the main files on this so FBI 2 police two, 3 police uh, police 2 uh, sheriff sheriff 2 are all in the DLC packs which would be in the mods folder and you would have to go back to updates x64 DLC would be all in here so police 4 has only police 3 in it you see that okay so if you're gonna do anything with police 3 just know it goes in x64 okay so next I'm in patch day 4 that's where police is patch day 3 is also police 3 and police 2 Sheriff and Sheriff 2. So, X64, Levels, GTA 5. So, just just a heads up, I'm just going to kind of show you where the files are for the police. So, here's Police 2, Police 3. So, just note, if you're going to install Police 3, it's going to go on Patch Day 4 patch day three that's correct police two is gonna go patch day two and just note sheriff and sheriff two also go on patch day three okay so just so a heads up so you see here patch day one I think is patch day is uh, police two they recently updated so just a heads up I'm just showing you this it is actually police to on the police bike so if you choose to put the police bike or change that out you would actually have to go in here and change that out through there so police 2 has FBI 2 so if you're gonna change out FBI 2 what you would do is go on X 64e place make sure you hit edit so if it if you have a file that says FBI 2 what you downloaded what you want to do next is you want to actually go in to the mods folder x64e go through levels GTA 5 vehicles and you'll see it right here so this is here right here like this FBI 2 is in patch day 2 but it's also on X64E it's going to show up in your game so if you understand what I'm getting at is this is X64E so just to explain it this is X64E right here is what I'm in vehicles so you would go X64E levels GTA 5 vehicles once you click on vehicles FBI make sure you hit edit mode and hit yes so once you do that there there's the FBI police police 2 so what you want to do is you want to copy all your police files here so if you got FBI, police, police 2, police 3, uh, sheriff, sheriff 2, FBI 2 is also going to have to go to the DLC pack and mods update DLC so for police 2 you're going to go to patch day 1 patch day 3 is those for police 2 police 3 would be patch day 3 
and patch day 4 and X64E. Patch day X64E for Sheriff and Sheriff 2 and patch day 3 for patch day 3 for Sheriff and Sheriff 2, sorry. Should be good to go on that. I think patch day 1 for sure you want to click on that and make sure that if it's patch day patch police 2 is also going to be sheriff as well so you want to make sure you put your sheriff in this after that you should be good to go so like I said install if you got a pack and you're trying to install just make sure you go through these files right here and install them x64 once you close out once you close out this you should be able to go in and actually play just know if it's got any ELS packs you got the most recent rage open file location make sure you I install I have the 1.0 installed on this so make sure any vehicle that you install whether it's FBI police it's got an XML file what you need to do is actually copy everything and put them all in here see all these XMLs for the lights to work on the vehicles once you do that you should be good to go so if your lights is your lights aren't working on the police cars you hit J three times you just see the wig lags on the bottom and they're not real bright what you need to do next is you need to open you need to download and I'll show you what I got you need to download rage plug in right here so let's see just making sure I got I want to show you I also want to show you uh, visual settings rage you can download from lspdfr.com go into visual settings I have bright what you could do bright these are with the amber lights on the police car so if you want amber lights just note if you put the amber lights on the police car they're going to be on in the daytime as well unless they've changed that so just note I was thinking about putting those on just note that the amber lights stay on which I think I'm going to go ahead and change it out and just have mine on. Just note that they're going to be on all cars. They'll be on in the daytime and the nighttime. So, so just note that. But what you need to do when you change out the lights is you go to mods. You got that X64. You go to, uh, I'm sorry. My bad. You go to updates, updates, common, data, and your visual settings are this file right here. So all you got to do is make sure you hit edit mode, drop and drag. Just pick this up and drag it in there. It's going to change that. And all you got to do is hit exit. You're good to go. So if this video helped you out, please uh, like and subscribe and. Uh, I will be sharing it on my group also. It's an installation help for LSPDFR. Uh, make sure uh, you comment, leave a comment if this helped you at all. Also, if you're able to help me out, you can also donate to my PayPal. It helps me and the family out a lot. So thank you. Bye-bye.